Welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Art of War DLC installed and of course the uh shit <laughs> and of course the the mod Veritas at 42 installed as well. So uh last time we completely overdid it. Well we didn't overdo it, but just to spark your interest. So um yeah, we won a war against France. Oh yes, uh of course France was already at war. It already was losing, however. We uh, kind of added that, uh, you know, the cherry on top, you know, the humil humiliation was complete. So, um, of course, we've got England almost fully in our grasp. We are now looking uh, at a Regency Council, unfortunately. So it's led by our Queen. And um, as far as ex exploration, not really um, expanding goes, um, I found a little... A little hinge in uh, in our our um, efforts, perhaps, because uh, the culture group in here, so the three, um, yeah, the three provinces we start off with. Uh, two of them have the culture group of Gascon, so the Gascon culture group. However, that also means that we could get Arma Armagnac or Manac, and we could also get. Bearn and also uh, Tarb and Carcassonne or Car Car I don't know. Not really sure if it's French or Spanish. You know, it's at some point you know, French I can handle a little bit, but Spanish not at all. It's a little bit you know if you look at oh shit. Uh, okay, so yet again, some Highland revolts. We're just gonna put you on uh, anti-revolt. I mean, we'll 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 do uh, such uh, such thing. However, um, it is the question uh, should remain. Oh well, uh, I kind of want to hold on to these provinces because once we've conquered, con you know, conquered a complete British Isles, we uh, yeah we basically are left um, doing nothing else. And it would be nice to have a foothold in Europe, just because you know if uh, if we got like uh, a couple of a couple of provinces here. And then we can perhaps get uh, also fleet fleet basings here, and I don't know, get North Africa for, for some reason. It's uh, it's an option. Um, so what uh, we want to do in the meantime, of course, mm, it uh, surprises me that we actually get uh, income from gold, silver, and gems. And you might be like, yeah, that's a good income. Um, no. <laughs> Because guess what? Money is basically the amount of gold. Uh, yeah, coming of age. Nice. Already. Nice, nice, nice. So, Gosbelli. Okay, now they're all coming. And he already created the heir. Even though that heir is dumb as fuck. No, oh, looks up Astrid's grandfather. But of course, um, gold, silver, and gems is basically what money represents. So, if we get more gold, silver, and gems, our money gets less worth. AKA, or oh, that leads to inflation increase, increase in, in increase in inflation. That's unfortunate, though. However, um, the fact that we are now uh, looking at okay, it, it did not really expect him to come of age that soon. Fifteen. Hmm. Um, well, when I was fifteen, you know, I did not lead a complete country, unfortunately. However, I am nineteen, and I'm now leading this country. <laughs> So it makes up for it, I suppose. Okay, um, well, we had a battle plan, and someone left a coalition, and okay, and a coalition map ended here. Of course, we now have to tell everyone to uh, marry us again. Oh, break royal ties. Oh, or not. Uh, Aragon, are we still allied? Yes, we are. Why are we not married, you prick? Oh, well. Uh, Burgundy, also. Why are we not celebrating the fact that two of our houses are married? Uh, Flanders, same bloody thing. Uh, yo, uh, Highlanders, you want to go uh, get married as well? Um, sure, let's uh, get you... Of course, we just sent the army down south, go back north, and then kick ass again. Uh, Anjou, of course. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit late. However, we shall continue. Um, the queen, uh, the designated, uh, sure, the queen yet again. The queen helped us quite a lot. You know, she was actually a blessing in disguise. 
Okay, please tell me this is going to be a victory in disguise as well. Okay, uh, however, we can now increase the army size again. Because, of course, the Regency had negative impact on our force limits. And uh, now the uh, returning of the king, you know. And uh, not the movie, but, you know, whatever. We uh, we will have, uh, oh, okay, 3,000 men more. It's a relative increase of, uh, I don't know, 25%. Give it that, please. Okay, and uh, looking at money spent, sure, let's get uh, interest per enemy or national interest. Okay, Matt, ooh, you, I wanted you. Oh, well, um, national unrest decrease, okay, that works as well. Uh, can we get, uh, seems shaky, okay, we are providing, okay, legitimacy. Mm. Okay, it is increasing over time, so that works, I suppose. Mm-hmm. And taking all those marriages is not really good for your legitimacy, I can imagine. Oh well, um, sure. Send out the army. Oh, wow, this rebellion is really stepping up his game. Okay, we'll make uh, make it easier for uh, a face roll. And you are, let me see, allied to Norway and Fomond. Fomond is right here. And Norway is, I think, not really going to be a problem. Hmm. Well... Um, you know, you never yawn until you push the record button. It's really annoying. Oh, well, it's probably because I'm uh, trying to a little bit over raise my voice. However, uh, glory to the plant Dejanet. Okay, well, <laughs> doy, we want legitimacy, so we'll have it. You know, I want to have my cake. Oh, and eat it too, both. Okay, uh, let's see. Declare war on account of because the reasons and we will not make you co belligerents so you will not have the ability to kick us in the stomach as well and off you go okay uh, hands are offer of contour that's uh, definitely what we want so invest the funds it's a it's a nice thing because it will um, it will reduce merchant Merchantilism, so yeah, more free trade, luckily for us, and that will mean also prestige. Nice, um, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, the Hansa, the Hansa, where are you, you bloody prick? Let's look back to Hansa, Hamburg, Holstein. Huh. Mm. I figured you would exist somewhere, isn't it? You. It's all no you. Okay, I'm gonna probably no, it's Lubeck. Uh, where are you? hands are. Um, okay, you probably do not exist anymore. That's weird. Um. Oh well, whatever. Um, we at war now, so. Better get going, and it appears that um, former Tom and did join, but yeah, he probably cannot get through uh, his allies. Full annexation will not uh, go for less. Uh, of course, we want to make sure that even though Norway is uh, oh wow. Even though Norway is uh, is far away, we want to make sure that he doesn't enter. And well, it's basically against Fomin. So uh, one of these two guys should hate me not so much. So we may okay, we may not enter. Um, however, how many ships do you have? Um, okay, a little bit more than I do. I think I'm gonna need you. No, we want to kill. Format, at least. Uh, okay, cancel military rights. It's all good. We're still hostile toward each other. It's a little bit overkill, don't you think, Castilla? Oh well. Uh -huh. Ships away. Okay, my king, we have discovered that uh, Sevilla has cancelled military access. Oh well. Boo, bloody who. Okay, all aboard. Saving, of course. Uh, off we go. Mm -hmm. So we'll just. Uh, We'll just, okay, quick snipe there, yeah. why I don't know, but sure, and are you moving anyone? It does have, it could mean that there's like a, a free stack on there, okay, it's just 
moving, I guess. Get ourselves and stack out there, you know, we uh, want to keep our eyes out, why not? Okay, and here we are, leave enough to the siege to happen. Well, four. Okay, might get tight. Uh, no, <laughs> it's, it's face roll. Even better, I like face rolls. Um, here we go, that's a little bit problematic. Oh, we will not be able to catch that. Unfortunately, however, perhaps we might. No, we may not. Mm, shite. Um, well, no biggie, I guess. Because, well, at the time you. Uh, well, at the time you do get that province, you know, I will have complete control of these two. So, yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> okay, uh, should we get this one or should we invest in the first? First one is like what? Mm, hell of a lot of. Um, no, let's first get the idea. Why not? Quality. Sure. Recover army morale. That's good. I guess. That's the quality, right? Okay. And well, the only thing we'll ask for of Foment is to make nice, you know? Give us the money. You know, just some money. Perhaps we could abolish a couple of treaties. Why not? Okay, we've got this one going. Let's um, yeah, just put you on the ground. Could we get a decent leader going as well? Okay, that works. Um, really, a second landing? Okay, um, I'm gonna march over my navy. Because even though there are not that many people, uh, I don't really want a six stack or a seven stack to be a problem, really. Okay, we won back this here. Okay, now we've got a fifth, five stack, not a fifth stack. Okay, we killed that navy as well. Excellent. Um, got some damage, just uh, to hate a little bit more. Won another siege. Excellent, excellent. Um, how much are we looking at here? Because we might just... 56. Okay. And I'll treat these with Scotland, really. Okay. Uh, transfer trade power. Give claims. No war... There we go, that's, that's the idea, just war repetitions, okay, or reparations. Off we go, that's the only bloody thing we wanted, money, okay, now we can walk through these territories, okay, because we are a retreating army, here we are, 13 stack, go kill the Norwegian, 6 stack, and there it is, you know, let's uh, make this cherry pop, and off we go. Honestly, it's uh, your word against mine, and uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm playing the home team. Yeah, I'm I'm the home team. Yeah, don't you try to even run. Oh, of course you don't. And boom, there we go. <coughs> well, uh, let me see. You would give me dairy, of course. Uh, okay, give up claims. Be careful your claims and money. More money. So like one ducat more. Um sure, just get rid of him. Uh give up the claims. Don't really care for the king and war repetitions. So we get there uh, okay, that's uh works for me. So we get two point seven aggressive expansion for debt, and that is yeah, jack shit if you compare it to other stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Now we'll just uh, add you to the mixture. Let's see, get you back here. Uh -huh. And you can uh, continue on protecting London and such. Okay, next up. Um, I find it all very much important. Um, well, the anti-coalition... Yeah, you're only against me in a coalition, so that <laughs> doesn't really work for you. You have lost your supreme leader, even though, well, two stack will not in any way or form win uh, from a 12 stack, unless you've got like, uh, no, I don't know, it is possible, but just, yeah. You know, if you've got a fort and the 12 stack 
rushes to the fort. Well, you know. Okay, killed the Highlands. So that will happen for like 50 years, unfortunately. Uh, now we're making some more money. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Seems all good. Okay, let's get this one going. And I kind of want to get a second navy going because we've got so much to do, you know, so many. Let's see, how much does one cost? 10, 20. 20! Okay, we're, we're going to go with 20. So I'm just going to make as many trading ships as possible because they will uh, earn their weight back. That's uh, Okay, naval maintenance increased. Well, trade range increased as well. <clears throat> okay, um... We can hire a free military leader. Uh, well, worth it. Um, decent all-rounder, I would say. Wave of uh, obscuritism. Okay, uh, as a typical response to different kinds of problems, obscuritism was a frequent behavior in most nations, at least until the age of the Enlightenment arose. In the most advanced Western nations of the European continent. Okay, knowledge is power. We could get national unrest. Uh, what are we looking at right now? We are looking at a, a national. Okay, we have minus 1.44. It's not good. So we'll, we'll take the prestige hit gladly. Okay, um, second country we might want to invade in. All our allied to. I don't really want to upset Brittany. However, if we go for. Who are you? Are you still. No, you're no longer in a personal union. Okay, so we uh, we don't really want to fight Brittany, even though <coughs> it's not really valuable. Airlines about the idea, idea, you know, the fact that I kind of have uh, France in a death grip a little bit <laughs> already. It's, it's a good place to be in. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna go and get Scotland. Do we? Yes, we already have a Casas Belli, and well, we might make you a co belligerent both of you and whilst at it we might as well make you unless of course you guys have scary scary allies let's see uh you've got me and ireland you got no oh no norway and you've got yeah no one you perhaps no it's like a trinity again interesting so we'll make them all uh co obligates and we might as well Okay, declare war, reconquest of Lovian. Okay, um, let's all just mm, get next to that one first. Mm, or I believe actually half this should be able to conquer it. Good. Have a general. Okay, and then let's rearrange again. Um. Well, I highly doubt you will enter me, my, uh, yeah, I, I highly doubt Norway will enter the war again, though, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to see, however, this one is for Scotland, Scotland, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go easy on you, Scotland, we'll make it uh, a quick one, okay, let's see, uh, to Connacht, Leinstedt, Brittany, and uh, little Connacht on the coalition members, Scotland, excellent. So um, I'll call upon all my allies, which will, um, yeah, even <laughs> not even capable of doing anything. Oh well. Uh, Anjou is very much capable, and it's only like a friendly nation. So Flanders can do anything, and well, Portugal is always neutral in a sense. Okay, off we go. Declare war. What are we fighting? Uh, okay, we do not have to fear. Um, Mm, oh, okay, got you. Uh, we don't really have to fear Norway because, quite frankly, it's Norway and, well, not, not, to, not to offend Norwegians, it's just that they already had a peace treaty with us. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to beat that. Okay. Next up, who else? Who wants to draw first blood? You, I guess. For the money, of course. Okay, there we are. And okay, leave all you need. 
wipe you. Okay. Uh, 2v2. It's gonna be an interesting battle, I must say. Get over here. Anyone else? I mean, are you doing what I was thinking you would do? Flanders, doing anything? No. I'm not really fighting anyone <laughs> odd either, so. Oh well, Flanders is just jumping. And Portugal is also. I ought to I ought to give them that you know um, with the art of war mod they they really uh, upped uh, upped the AI's capability of yeah, transporting units because I I've seen England just everywhere as the Papal States I was just fooling around and out of the blue you know England was like yeah we started the war with me we're gonna fight this one as well so on the Italian uh, Isle no well, Isle uh, mainland I should say okay leave alone. Leave more here, okay. Uh, what are we fighting? You still have an army, and that's right over yonder. Good. We now have some of the ships. Let's uh, just set sail here. Highly doubt we will be opposed. Uh, well, you we do have seven trading ships. Let's see. We've lost the alliance causes Belli against. Who? Yeah, we don't. We don't care. Don't get me wrong, it's just, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> okay, what, uh, okay, we've got trading ships and uh, transport ships. Mm -hmm. And we'll make uh, good use of our, our trading ships because we will, yeah, start trading left and right. Of course, we'll uh, honor the, fi <laughs> the fact that England did have a massive fleet a prestigious fleet and even though we aren't really going that way just yet we will and we will go we will go that way soon mm, let's see we are over let's see yeah we are getting so much dip diplomatic points so it would be retarded to not go okay intimidor intimidatory no oh, shit Okay, um, national unrest increase, however, time of to fabricate claims, time to justify trade conflicts, trade conflicts, and annexation costs reduce domestic market. Okay, that will most likely... Uh, local, hmm, that's also a very interesting one. Galley ex uh, expertise, Grand Fleet, not really it. Um, I suppose this one is also like uh, quality and quantity. Merchant adventures. Mm. Trade steering, trade efficiency. I might want to go with that one. Because, well, it's being nice, it's fun and all, but not really that much. Um, yeah, not really. Uh, what do you want to do, though? Mm, trade efficiency. Or merchants and national trade income modifier. Mm -hmm. Let me just check. So it's an or, so it's not like we're gonna go both. It's all or. Okay, must have either quantum recovery. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Must have any trade ideas. And then we can go to logistics. Ah, okay. Domestic land. Okay, we'll go for merchants adventure because, of course, we are. The British, and of course the British don't fuck around when it comes to trade. Um, there we are. And if we're gonna look now, yeah, those uh, order trade ones, trade ideas are gone. Um, and now we can go for the logistical ideas. Okay, but we'll uh, we'll see how far we can get with those. Uh, okay, merchant adventures, ad advance really. Speaking is coming a little bit too difficult, uh, but uh, we will prevail. Okay, um, yeah, this war is almost done. Good, Siege of Oakley is done. Uh, well done, chaps. And we'll just, yet again, ask for money, because if we uh, bleed the enemy try, it's not really uh, an enemy we are fighting. But we did make you a co-belligerate, so that means, uh, yeah, we could just completely annex you. <laughs> However, the amount of aggressive expansion is just ridiculous so we won't so what would you offer uh, okay you lose the claims mm -hmm. prestige 
13. Oh, you would give us... Right? No. Hmm. Clear offer. Well, I'll, I'll give you the offer, so we'll just get rid of this. And draw a war repetition, so give me your money and done. There we go. No aggressive expansion. Because if you do it very easy, very simply, so just take one province at a time, or in the beginning just a giant chunk with the right castle of allies, or the right, the yeah, the good claims, you can do it very quickly instead of, you know, taking... Okay, for instance, you want to take two provinces, yes? Or let's make it three, because two is very simple. So, for instance, you want to do three provinces. And, um... Yeah, so you've got two provinces in one country and all... Yeah, you say you have three different enemies, they all have one province you desire. Uh, and you would just uh, go to war with them at once and you take them all, you know, take them at once. The amount of aggressive expansion is not linearly gained, so it's not like 2, 2, 2, no, it's like 2, 6 and then 15 because you're a warmonger and a province taker and a bully and such. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. Hmm, wait, I might want to give something to Anjou though. Because, I don't know, reasons. Hmm, okay, we could we could do such a thing. That's that's also the beauty of uh, being the war leader. Yeah, I can I can uh, decide who gets what. And uh, that's that's actually a funny mechanic because you could just, uh, especially nowadays, where you can uh, besiege a territory and instead of it being yours, you could hand it over to whoever is also in the fight with you. But uh, yeah, that, and that way you can make someone a very high, uh, a very large warmonger because well, they do get the aggressive expansion. Huh. Okay, uh, plenty of prestige, and yeah, almost done with this war. Well, we are done with the war, even better. Um, gentlemen, could you please put up a big a blockade? That would help us greatly. Nice. Okay, we did make you all co-belligerent, so you could ask uh, all of your allies in. However, you all were, yeah, you all were allied to each other, so that doesn't really help, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, well, if we could just give a province to Anjou, that would be nice. Okay, we can't. Why not? Because this is the capital, well, of course. Um, Okay, you almost got this one, don't you? Yeah, almost. So, we might just want to wait this one out. Give you a province. And well, Flanders could... Does it, yeah, we can't give Flanders anything because they will... They won't really benefit from it. And while well, making Aju a little bit bigger will help, I think. I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, uh, is there anyone at war anywhere? No. Okay, Brittany wants out. Brittany is subject to uh, give up claims. I don't really have, care for your claims. Uh, well, we don't really want to wait either. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. Give me all your money, even though you don't have any. Give me war reparations, even though I didn't even fight you directly. Okay, off we go. For um, you, I will demand a full annexation at the cost of... Wow, 1.3, because, well, justified, motherfucker. And look at here, let's see, how much aggressive expansion? Two, and it will be gone in a year, so, yeah. There we go, we now completely own the British, well, I don't know how to call it, I would say the British Isle, however, I've been wrong before. Um, so, uh, with this war at the end, uh, this is also the end of this episode, so thanks for watching. I only ask of you to leave a comment, uh, well, basically throwing your mind in, in onto the topic. What, what do you think of the videos? What do you think I can improve? Or which way do you want this, this, this series to go? Because, well, you are the viewer, but you could also be the remote, and you could also just say, well, I would like to express my ideas. So uh, please do that, and thanks for watching, and basically bye.